Hello all and welcome to a very special 50th episode of Captured Lightning. Today I'm your special host, Infinite Eli Isom, and today we got a doozy of a matchup. We have the owner and operator of the Worldwide Wrestling Dojo, the world famous Cheeseburger, making his Captured Lightning debut against the undefeated Sturdy Sal Mastretta. Sal has never lost on Captured Lightning, and he wants to prove himself today against his teacher. But enough for me, let's hear from our competitors. What do I have to do, Cheeseburger? What do I have to do to prove to you that I'm ready? You said I wasn't ready, so I accepted Jermaine's open challenge, beat him in three minutes. Then, you throw me Troy and David. I beat them too. There's only one thing left to do now, Cheeseburger, and that's why I called you out last week. Your own student is gonna pin you in your own dojo on the 50th episode of your own show. And then once you're done looking at me after I beat you, you're going to see what everyone else in this whole place sees, that Sal Mastretta is sturdy! Ah! 50 episodes of Captured Lightning. Firstly, I want to thank all of you that tune in every week. Thank you for your love and support, and thank you for watching as we showcase the best and the brightest students here at the Worldwide Dojo. Which brings me to my opponent tonight, Sturdy Sal Mastretta. Now Sal, I've trained you from day one. From your first footsteps here in the Worldwide Dojo, I was there every step of the way. And, and Sal, you wanna know why I said you weren't ready? Do you wanna know why I held you back? It's because I saw potential in you, Sal. It's because I saw the potential in you. I saw how bad you wanted this. I saw you wanted to be at the top and you want to be the best and you decide to take it upon yourself to decide when you debut to decide when you get in that ring and Sal you've gotten two wins you're two and oh here at Capture Lightning and you're feeling yourself I appreciate it but you want to call me out and say you're going to beat me on my own show in my own dojo on episode 50 tonight all right Sal prove it to me Prove that you belong here at the Worldwide Dojo. Prove that you belong on Capture Lightning. Prove to me that you want to be the best and that you can beat the best. Prove to me that you belong here at the Worldwide Dojo and you deserve to represent those colors. And the wait is finally over. We have student versus teacher about to commence as we have GCW senior official Adam Goltz here to officiate this contest. And the two shake hands, but Sal not letting go, showing Berger that he's here to play no games. And Berger says, if you want some, come get some. Nice, solid lockup by Sal as he pushes Berger back to the corner with the greatest of ease. Gives him a little tap saying, hey, they call me sturdy for a reason. Circle around, filling each other out with another lockup as Sal backs him up again, but Berger shifts his body weight and puts Sal back into the corner. That's that 13 years of experience from Cheeseburger and possibly some mind games as he lets Sal stroll right back to the center of the ring. I don't know how the students gonna go about that one. Nice wrist lock by Berger. Sal reverses out into his own hammerlock. So far going hold for hold for the world famous cheeseburger. Nice creative escape by cheeseburger into his own hammerlock. Going for a half Nelson here. No switches around into a cravat and Sal is in some deep trouble right here. I don't think I've ever seen Sal in this predicament, but spins out the two are evenly matched so far let's see how long that lasts though lock up into a waist lock by sal takes him down to the mat into a front chancery giving burger a little taste of his own medicine there Work up and Burger fights his way out, going back to that arm. Maybe an early game plan being shown by Cheeseburger here. Takes Sal right down to the mat. 
And with that top wrist lock, it really doesn't matter about size. It's all about leverage, as Burger shows. Burger thinking it's time to get a little fancy on Sturdy Sal as he puts him right into a headlock. Sal shoots him off. Burger goes for the tackle, but cheese, I love you, but I'm not sure that's going to work against Sturdy Sal. Not on the first try, anyway. He might have to do that again as Sal gestures. Go ahead. Give it another shot, Cheese. Sal drops down into a leapfrog. Marafuji <laughs> into his own tackle. And Berger, I think you had that one coming. Berger drops down. Leapfrog. His own Marafuji. Oh, some Skyda training there showing off. Burger goes up and over with the roll through. Oh, Sturdy Sal might be going for Bulls on Parade. Burger pushes him off, goes for the Shote. And a stalemate. These two, these two are going at it. I'm impressed. Burger seems like he's impressed too. I'm not sure if he expected Sal to be hanging with him so evenly. Gives him a pat on the chest, but then a pie face? I don't know, Burger's being a little disrespectful. Maybe those mind games are trying to come back into play, but Sal says, nah-uh, not today, sir, as he puts Burger into the corner. Nasty, devastating shoulder tackles, whipping a reverse. Up and over. Big lariat in the corner by Sal. <laughs> and an even bigger feel. Burger's on the ropes, literally. Into another lariat. Big belly to belly by Sal. Centon splash. That's a signature by Sal. Into a cover. Only a two count there. As our official Adam Gold, one of the finest officials on the independent scene. He's calling this right down the middle so far. Sal in control of Berger as he sends him off the ropes. He'll be going for a backdrop, but Berger kicks him up. Ducks that back elbow. Into a T. Harris. And a beautiful looking drop kick by world famous Cheeseburger. And it appears that Cheese has the control finally in this matchup. And that's something that Sal is probably going to have to expect for the duration of this match. I mean, if you're a 13 year veteran going up against, I think Sal's got a year in wrestling. I mean. Writing's on the wall at that point. The heavy hands of the world famous cheeseburger. See so chops Sal right across the chest in the corner. Sal turns him around. And he says, Anything you can do, I can do better with another nasty chop. From sturdy Sal. Sal, a former football standout. Nasty kick to the arm by Cheese, and there he goes. The game plan, again, with the arm is coming into play as Berger is looking to hook in La Escalera. Shout out to Black Man, RIP. Berger has it locked in, and I'm not sure how Sal's going to get out of this one, but it seems like Berger places himself out. Kicks the arm of Sal. Gosh, that seemed devastating. Sal's arm might be in some real trouble here. And Berger in complete control of this matchup now. He snapped Mare Sal down into a cover. Just another two count there. Those covers are going to come into play later on in the match because every single one of those covers is wearing out Sal. Every single one he's got a kick out of, he's just expending energy. Now Berger working on the arm. Sal, a little joint manipulation here of the fingers, of the wrist. Slamming his hand out to the mat. Burger's not playing around here. I don't usually see Cheese this aggressive, but when you get called out by one of your students, I mean, you got to show up. You know, okay, Cheese, come on now. You, the disrespectful kicks. 
South being in a fight back, showing that he's not done quite yet as he hits the ropes. Burger with a big kitchen sink right to the gut, and he's not done. Running knee drop right across the sternum of Sturdy Sal, but again, another two count. Right back to the arm. Burger seems to be going. Just choking out Sal with his own arm. Sal seems to be still in this fight. Ripcord by Cheese into a schoolboy by Sal. Cover. Just a two count. Burger cuts him down with a look like a Yakuza boot. Shades a big bill there. Again, Sal kicks out, showing the heart, the sturdy heart. You know, that's something I admire about Sal Mistretta. Throughout all these months of training, all this, you know, this past year that I've known him, he's never given up. He's always come to work, and he's trying to prove to Cheese that he belongs. We're still working that arm over. I'm not sure how much more Sal's arm can take. I mean, we're pretty deep into this matchup already, and Sal looks to be in quite some pain. Oh, this is this is devastating. If Burger can really hook in this Kimura lock, it might be over for Sal. Burger jumps on Sal, trying to get more leverage, trying to torque that arm. Sal fighting back, and Sal. Powering out. Trying to get some feeling back into that arm. Big suplex by Sturdy Sal. And this might be the opening that Sal needs to get back into this matchup. And Bolt checking on both competitors. Starting his count. If both competitors can't reach their feet by the count of 10, this is going to be a no contest, which would be just a devastating way to end this match. It seems like Berger is working his way up. Oh. Burger back to his feet. Sal back to his feet. Duck the line by Sal. Unloading on cheese. Big back elbow by Sal. And Sal seems to be filling it with a clothesline as well. Burger ducks another line. Sal catches him. And even though he has one arm. Sal sends him flying across the ring with a fallaway slam. He's not done yet. Release exploder. Cover him, Sal. This is it. Two. Kick out by Cheeseburger. I really thought that was it. I'm not going to lie. Sal, you got to stay on him now. This is your chance. You've opened up the doors. Now it's time to go in. So he brings Burger back to his feet to give him a devastating forearm. It sends Burger flying back into the ropes. Sal, ah, oh, his arm. Burger with a big shoulder tackle to the arm and a flying clothesline. See, this is where that game plan of Burger has come to fruition. Sal's basically wrestling with one arm here. Burger picks him up. Full Nelson lock, but Sal manages to fight out. Burger jumps up with a flying arm bar, and this could be it with the damage that's done to Sal's arm. This is not a good position to be if you're sturdy Sal Mistretta in the arm. Oh, he rolls him up, though. Just a two count. Big kick to the gut. Sweeps his leg. Buzzsaw kick. Shades of Tajiri. Burger. Oh, I've seen this one too many times. He might be setting up for the Shote. Duck by Sal. Spine on the pine. Into the cover. Another kick out by the world famous Cheeseburger. This matchup continues, ladies and gentlemen, and it is a great matchup so far. Sal seems to be calling for it. Maybe we see Bulls on Parade. He's finishing maneuver. Gets him up on his shoulders, but Burger 
Ah, his arm, oh no. Sal runs him back into the corner trying to get some separation. And a little hesitation there by Sal. That could cost him when you're in there with a veteran like Cheeseburger. And right on cue, there it is. Now it appears that Sal may have an issue with his leg. Big knee strike by the world famous Cheeseburger. You know, if you can't walk, you can't lift anything, I'm not sure how you're going to win a wrestling match. So Berger's game plan has been pretty much perfect up until this point. He's just got to finish the job. What's he thinking of? Springboard swanton bomb. Vintage cheeseburger. I haven't seen him pull that one out in a while, but sometimes you got to pull out all the stops if you want to get the win. Just a two count. Sal's heart. His soul is on full display here on the 50th episode of Captured Lightning. Crazy to think, but Burger's probably thinking to himself, what do I have to do to put this sturdy man away? Figure four leg lock, but Sal reverses it into a small package. Catch half and half by Cheese. Super kick. Off the ropes he goes, but Sal, black hole slam. Both men are giving it their all in this matchup, and this has been a joy to call, and I can only imagine for everybody watching, it's a joy to watch as well. All I know is that something has got to give in this matchup. Both of the men have been hitting each other with everything that they've got, but nobody's seemed to get the upper hand so far. Both men back up to a ready position as Sal delivers a nasty forearm to his trainer. Burger may be out. Burger may be out. Oh, not yet. Oh, my goodness. What a forearm by Cheeseburger. Ah! Sal answers back. Come on, Cheese! Man, man. Burger pulls in Sal up by his chain, but Sal says no thank you as the two begin to trade back and forth. Teacher and student, 50th episode of Capture Lightning. Burger goes back to the arm. Sal breaks, gives another nasty forearm. Burger tries to go for the leg. Shote! No! Sal catches it! Sal catches it! Big forearm by Sal. This could be it. Bulls on parade! He can't lift him up his arm, so he switches side. That's a smart move by the rookie. But his leg. Burger floats down, tries to go for a sunset flip. Nothing. Throws a line, Burger ducks to a sunset flip. Here we go. Sal catches him in a pin. One, two, that's it. The rookie has won. The rookie has beaten the, the master. Unbelievable. Sturdy Sal has proven that he is ready as he beats the world famous cheeseburger. This has to be the biggest win of Sturdy Sal's career. It might be the biggest win of his career ever. I mean, once you beat your teacher in a match, and I don't know what more you have to do to prove that you're ready. Burger makes his way back to his feet. I mean, I know he's shocked. I mean, I'm shocked. But seems like the respect is there. As the two embrace in the center of the ring. Burger seems to be giving him... Is that what I think it is? It is. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a number one contender's medal. But the demolition man, David, what, do you, what the hell do you think you're doing? As he takes out Cheeseburger after a beautiful matchup. Oh, come on. That is not your medal. He's choking out Sal. And all anybody can do is watch on as this happens. What's he going for? Is that a screwdriver? Adam, you got to get that screwdriver. Pushes Adam down. He's ready. 
Don't do it, David! Don't do it! Oh my god! Screwdriver, that's it! Cut this! We need medical attention for Sal! Cut it! Cut!